Mr. Cornell, I have tried to be neighborly. I have tried to be friendly. And I have tried to be cordial. I don't know what it is you're trying to be. That first night, I was appreciative you helped me carry my trunk up the stairs. The fact it slipped and fell five flights and smashed to pieces. That wasn't your fault. I didn't even mind that personal message you painted on the stairs. I thought it was crazy, but sort of sweet. However, things have now gone too far. I can't accept gifts from a man I hardly know, especially canned goods. And I read that little note of yours. I can get the gist of it, even if I don't speak Italian. This has got to stop, Mr. Cornell. I can do without you leaving little chocolate almond Hershey bars in my mailbox. They melted, and now I have three gooey letters from home with nuts in them. And I can do without you sneaking into my room after I go to work and painting my balcony without telling me about it. I stepped out there the other day, and my slippers are still glued to the floor. And I could do without you tying big bottles of Adu cologne on my cat's tail. Poor thing kept swishing it the other day and nearly beat herself to death. And I can certainly do without you watching me get on the bus every day through that big high-powered telescope. You got me so upset the other day, I got on the wrong bus. In short, Mr. Cornell, and I don't want to say this again, leave me alone.